Hello everybody, my name's Steve and welcome back to American Steam Legacy. In part 7, the final installment of our series on the white notation, we'll be taking a quick look at the 10-coupled articulateds and the 8-coupled triplex locomotives of the white notation. All this and more coming up next on American Steam Legacy. The first two 1010-2s were built by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad in 1911 by converting 10 of its 900 and 1600 class 2102 Santa Fe's into 10-coupled compounds. The existing engine with 28-inch cylinders became the rear engine, while Baldwin supplied the front engine with 38-inch cylinders. Both engines featured piston valves actuated by Walshard's valve gear. The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe's two 1010-2s were primarily used between Barstow and Bakersfield, California, and up to San Bernardino. With a boiler pressure of 225 pounds per square inch and 57-inch drivers, these 10-coupled compounds could develop 109,000 pounds of tractive effort. The design of these locomotives contained some rather unusual features. First of all, the feedwater heater was located in the combustion chamber just ahead of the firebox. Later feedwater heaters would be located in the smoke box. Second, the superheater was comprised of two parts, a low temperature superheater for the boiler and a reheater. The reheater would receive steam from the high pressure cylinders and reheat the steam before sending it on to the low pressure cylinders on the front engine. The heat for this setup was provided by an also unusual ribbed Jacobs Schubert firebox which burned oil instead of coal. This novel design proved short-lived since maintaining boiler pressure was an issue. Within 10 years, all 10 of these locomotives would be rebuilt back into the 2102 Santa Fe types from which they originated. While the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe was ending its relationship with their ill-fated 10-coupled compounds, the Virginian Railroad was just beginning theirs. In 1918, the Virginian took delivery of 10 Alco-designed and built 21010s. These locomotives featured 48-inch diameter low-pressure cylinders, making them the largest pistons ever employed on an American steam locomotive. Due to turntable restrictions, the Virginian 21010-2s were mated with an unusually small tender, a type normally reserved for yard switchers. These tenders originally carried 12 tons of coal, but the later addition of tender boards raised the capacity to 20 tons. The Virginian 21010-2s were used on the deepwater division between Elmore and Clark's Gap, West Virginia. The division's 2% ruling grade and the fact that it was single track required power that was virtually unstoppable, and the 21010 2 was certainly that. The Virginian machines were capable of operating in either compound or simple mode. In compound mode, they developed 135,000 pounds of tractive effort. In simple mode, that number increased to 176,000 pounds. The performance of the Virginian 21010 2s was impressive. One pulled a 15,725-ton train from Princeton to Roanoke, Virginia, while another managed a 17,250-ton train over a ruling grade of 0.2%. Other than the addition of a Worthington BL-type feedwater heater, the Virginian 21010-2s were never modified over their 30-plus years of service. All 10 locomotives would be retired in the early 1950s. The Erie 28882 triplex was the brainchild of Baldwin engineer George H. Henderson. Henderson's triplex design was a quasi mallet in that it utilized double expansion, while at the same time it was sort of an articulated tank engine. The goal of Henderson's design was to maximize tractive effort by making the dead weight of the tender contribute to the locomotive's pulling power. The result was two engines under the boiler and a third carrying the tender. The center engine received steam from the boiler and exhausted to the front and rear engines. The cylinder on one side exhausted to the front engine and the cylinder on the opposite side to the rear engine. However, the pistons on all three engines had the same diameter. The front engine exhausted to the stack via the smoke box and provided the draft through the grates and the boiler, while the rear engine exhausted through a feedwater heater and into a narrow pipe at the rear of the water tank. The Erie received their first triplex from Baldwin in 1914, and two more would arrive from Baldwin by the end of 1916. The Erie quickly realized the triplex had several issues. First of all, the boiler was unable to sustain speeds over 15 miles an hour since the boiler and firebox were both undersized. 
And secondly, as coal and water were consumed from the tender, the rear engine developed a tendency to slip due to the reduced weight. Baldwin claimed the triplex could pull a 300-car train. With the triplex developing 176,000 pounds of tractive effort, this seemed plausible. But the drawbars, couplers, and freight car frames of that time period couldn't hold up under the enormous strain of such a pull. One triplex did start a 250-car train, but the trip only lasted 17 miles before pulled drawbar severed the train and brought the attempt to a halt. With all their shortcomings, the triplexes being used as mainline power was out of the question. The Erie triplex did, however, perform reasonably well as helpers, assisting heavy coal drags over Susquehanna Hill and the Gulf Summit grade in New York State. The Erie triplexes would continue to serve in this capacity until 284 Berkshires began arriving from Alco and Lima in 1927. All three triplexes would be removed from service and scrapped by 1930. In 1916, the Virginian Railroad received their first and only triplex from Baldwin. The Virginian triplex had a 28884 wheel arrangement rather than a 28882 configuration. The Virginian gave their lone triplex the class designation XA, indicating that this was an experimental locomotive. The Virginian triplex would be the only locomotive ever built in the U.S. with a 28884 wheel arrangement. The Virginian triplex differed from the Erie variant in boiler pressure, cylinder diameter, and drive wheel diameter. Boiler pressure was 222 PSI compared to 210 for the Erie triplex. Cylinder diameter was 34 inches compared to 36 for the Erie, and the driver diameter was reduced to 56 inches from 63. All of this taken together resulted in 186,900 pounds of tractive effort. The Virginian triplex displayed all of the shortcomings of its Erie counterparts. To make matters worse, it was slower and ran out of steam faster. The XA triplex was designed for 10 miles per hour in heavy drag freight service, but could only manage 5 miles per hour in actual use due to an undersized boiler and firebox. The Virginian triplex wasn't a total loss. In 1921, the three engines were salvaged and used to build a 2880 Malay and a 282 Mikado. Both locomotives remained in service until 1953. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And once again, my name's Steve, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.